This would be my review of the Lissua Tele Life Peel 400 amp hour battery. <clears throat> Received this in the mail today. I ordered four of them. This one, its resting voltage is 13.18. They were all about 13.1 to 13.2, except for one of them. It was 12.8, which is still not terrible. I'll be charging it with the NOCO Genius charger. It does have a lithium charge profile. And I will be testing it using an LED light hooked up to a 200 amp inverter. And I'll be testing the amp hours through this. I don't remember the brand, but this battery monitor. So once I get all this hooked up, I'll be back and start the test. Thanks. Okay, so here's my final test rig. Letting the uh, NOCO Genius charge. It's charging kind of slow. So we're getting up there on the voltage. Let's see, right now, 13.3, and it's bringing in about 3.4. Sometimes it jumps up around, around six, but right now it's down around three. It's been pretty steady around there. And we'll be going out here to the converter. Be running this LED test light. And be pulling about 75 watts or five and a half amps. That's what it's pulling when I was testing. So I'll start the test once the battery's fully charged. Thanks. Okay, our battery is topped off. It's been resting for a little bit. Settled out at 13.63 volts. I'm going to disconnect the charger now. Put that back there. So no more charge coming in from the charger. In fact, we'll disconnect the positive also. And we will begin this test. So I have LED light to this 200 watt inverter pulling 5.3 amps we'll just drop a little down to 13.5 you can see nothing coming in from the charger Let's see battery state 100 percent amp hours was it 100%? Well, 100, 100 amp hours. Now it's dropped down to 99.9. .9. So we will come back and see what this drops down to. See if we get a full 100 amp hours out of this battery. We're at the hour mark. This is about 5 amp hours of battery capacity. Voltage has dropped 13.2. Back in another hour. Another hour in, gone through about a little over five and a half amp hours. Voltage is down to 13.2. So I'll probably come back every few hours now instead of every hour. Hour five, you're down 69.46 amp hours. Our battery voltage is at 13.15. So we're doing Still pulling 5.6 amps, about 75 watts. So the inverter's still doing good. So far, so good. So we're getting towards the end of this test. Still have 2.2 amp hours to go. 11.05 volts on four now. My inverter should be shutting down pretty soon. I don't think it'll go much below 11 volts. I do believe 10.8 is where it shuts down. So we're 
getting close to that right now. 10.98. So we're going to be really close to getting a full 100 amp hours out of this thing. So I would be quite happy with that. I don't know how accurate the shunt is. I'd say it's pretty close. I had this in my camper and it's pretty accurate with my other batteries. Yep, there we are. 10.9, this thing's starting to scream. So anytime now we should be shutting down. And we'll be very close to the 100 amp hours. I think if anything, this will be my limiting factor because it should be shutting down here pretty quick. DC, so getting really close now. And there we have it. Okay, final results. 1.82 amp hours left in the battery, so pretty close to 100 amp hours. Shut down about 10.34, I believe. So that concludes this test. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.